G'day, my name is David from Ideasman and today I'm going to talk about easy transparent backgrounds using Snagit. Now why do we want to do this? Well, I started with a photo of a friend of mine, Sonia, and I wanted to take away the background. And the reason for that was I wanted to create a story of how whenever I'm at a movie with her or watching a movie with her, she loves to talk a lot. And I wanted to create a bit of a storyboard about that. So the tool that I use to do transparent backgrounds is called Snagit. You can download it at www.techsmith.com. Now what it's great for doing is how-to guides. And I'll give you an example. This is a screen from the product I've built to do these presentations. And if I wanted to demonstrate it to someone, I can crop the image, make it easier to see. I can put focus on a particular area. I can highlight buttons, draw arrows, put little pictures on it, or I can even cut out sections. But how does it go for doing transparencies? Well, why don't I show you in a demonstration? So I have an image and I use Snagit to select it. And from there I can click the fill button and go to transparency and if I select tolerance I can decide how much color I want to choose and then I just start clicking around the image. Now at different times I can change the tolerance I might go for a bit lower if the colors are very similar, a bit higher if they're far apart. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll select the cut tool and I'll just cut out whatever's remaining. I can zoom in and cut a little bit more and then I'll just crop whatever's remaining. And here's the final result. I'm David from Ideas Men. You can contact me at Facebook 99 Tech Guru.